What's up, Grizzlies? It's 7.30 p.m. and we are barely starting the vlog. So if you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to do some kind of Hi. daily type vlog. <laughs> you wanna say something? Say it. Hi. You look over here. Cheese. All right, guys, welcome back to Grizzly TV. I'm here with my daughter. What's your name? Scarlett. Scarlett. We're doing our daily vlog for today at 7.30 p.m. So it's pretty late to be starting this. But we're gonna give it a go. So I don't know what we're gonna do. So we'll just figure it out from here. You're a crackhead, you know that? What'd you say? Crackhead. You're a shark kid. You're a shark kid. Ah, <gasps> uh, shark head. So what should we do right now? Do a vlog. But what should we do other than that? Tea party. You wanna play tea party? Uh huh. Um. No more tea. No! All the things you could do for a vlog, and she wants to do a tea party. My wife, by the way, guys. Hello. Oh my god, I'm scared. You are heavy. <laughs> my goodness. Get oh. off my back, fatty. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Looks like that table might be a little high for you. You good? You're gonna set the table? Mm -hmm. Oh, down you go. <laughs> That's daddy. That dirt tastes good? Cheers. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. I want to say thank you to you, Liam. Shake my thank hand. You. Thank you. Thank you, Scarlett, for that yummy, delicious food. I appreciate you hosting the tea party. So I need some help with my car now. Do you guys want to help me with that? All right. All right, so if you're still watching after that little tea party I had with my kids, uh, we are gonna be doing the, well, actually I'm just gonna show you really quick how to pretty much install a Euro switch. So uh, there's a very good video from uh, Deutsche Auto Parts. I'll link that up above. Go ahead and check that one out if you haven't already. But I'm just gonna show you five seconds real quick. What the hell? What are you doing? So I'll show you guys real quick how to remove this. Pretty simple, takes two seconds, and then you switch in the other one. So this right here is actually already the Euro switch, but the easy way to do this, guys, is just gonna go ahead and bring it to uh, the zero position, push it in, move it right, comes right out. Uh, uh. There you go, yeah, kinda, kinda squeeze it, but other than that, just comes right out, and there's a little plug back there, and if you guys can see that, but that plug just removes, and then switch it with the new switch, Go ahead and place it back in exactly how it goes in. Move it to the left and you're good. Then you can just go ahead and uh, rock it however you need to. So yeah, pretty simple. So that's pretty much it guys. The install for the Euro switch. If you didn't know how to do it, now you do and you might feel kind of dumb because it was so freaking simple. Yeah, I know I, I did. I thought I was gonna have to use like a trim tool and all this other nonsense, but actually super easy. So thank you Paul for that information. Thought I'd pass it on. If you guys haven't seen Paul's page, Check it out. Are you supposed to be driving? Are you supposed to be driving? That is not what my car sounds like. Brunt, brunt. Sound good? Bros. Bros? Bros. Yeah, we're bros. Heck yeah. But yeah, also back to this. Looks good, Alcantara. Feels very nice and I would highly recommend it. And a lot of you guys were asking what the suede uh, dash mat was called. Well, there you go. It's called the suede dash mat and it is from autogeek.com. So that's a good place to get it. It's like 30, 40 bucks. Great material. I'll do a better video on that later, but thought I'd uh, pretty much give you guys a quick rundown on what that was in the uh, meantime. And then of course I showed you the bra in the last video, so. I don't know about you, but those DRLs look pretty freaking sweet. So the Euro switch is pretty cool because it allows you to actually run the fog lights and the DRLs at the same time without having your headlights on. There are other ways to do this. Yes, I understand. BCDS, OBD11. That's an umbrella. What do you want that for? You mean open? Like that. And then you fly away. Boy, you scratching my car. Hey, 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 back up. Jesus. Yeah, go, go somewhere else. Not towards the street, though. Backyard. 
So that probably gave some of you guys a heart attack right now, seeing him hit the car with the umbrella. But you know what? I really don't give a crap about my paint. It's actually not that good of a paint job to begin with, to be honest with you. Hey, can you see this? You see this? That's why my paint doesn't last right there. That's why. This thing is covered in scratches and chips and all kinds of things from road debris to just like people brushing up against it, whatever. So I'm really not too worried about the paint job. I'm gonna wrap it down the line. Now, I don't really know what color I'm gonna do, so I would really appreciate you guys if you give me some uh, suggestions in the comments below, because I do wanna wrap it. I just don't know what color, kind of color scheme I can go with since it's black, red, and white right now, so. All right guys, so it's getting really dark, it's getting cold. I think I'm gonna go back in the house right now and uh, maybe watch some uh, other guys with my wife. You know where you belong, on top of me in the Poconos. I know this is super short. I'm just gonna like do these little by little every day until I get better at this daily vlogging type of thing. I appreciate if you guys are watching this. Obviously it's okay if you're not. This is a mostly car related channel, so I understand that completely if you don't wanna watch a couple of kids scream at the camera. So I appreciate it guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Stay boosted.